Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tiveron here and welcome back to Danganronpa School Mode Where we are unfortunately going down Yasuhiro's path You wanna go grab a bite to eat in the dining hall? I'll teach you where all the best power spots are No thank you, Hero Not interested in your power spots or as most occult people would probably call them, ley lines. Hero and I grew a little closer today. And we will present him with another skull. Absolutely. <laughs> if I didn't want you to actually have it, I would not have given it to you. Hey, Makoto, are you familiar with Kamada? No. Unless that's another word for karma. It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? I don't know. You're the one telling this story. Y yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but... They appear there. What, the, uh... uh what are they called? Um, The Graboids from Tremors? The fuzzy little teeth balls from critters? Uh-huh, what does? Uh, um... U. M. A's. Okay, unidentified... musical anomalies? Um... Spaceships? What are cryptids? Okay, we got that wrong. You mean spaceships? I'm right, right? Uh, no, those are UFOs, you dingus. A UMA is basically an animal version of that. I shouldn't have to tell you any more than that, right? I guess not. Cryptids? I'm sorry, this is an area I am unfamiliar with. Okay, so that's right. Unidentified mysterious animals. Okay. You know? You got it. And it just so happens that they've been appearing in little old Kamada. You don't say. What kind of cryptids? How about that? The terrifying skyfish. In the West, they're usually just called rods. They can fly and they have a thin body and a big, wide fin. They can move their fins in a wave pattern, which lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Right. Could it be... You ever heard of the anomalous cars? Uh, some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. Nope, and that is another organism I have never heard of. And some others think they're an artificial life form, a genetically engineered military super weapon. Isn't that scary as hell? But what what would they be doing in Tokyo and in Kamada no less? Uh, um... Nobody knows, but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamada is to the Haneda airport, right? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking I should call all the airlines. Hmm. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish. And I know what it is. And what is that way, Hero, paying you a ludicrous sum of money? As long as they can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm going to tell them. Right. You're going to extort them. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I see a lot of jail time in your future if you do. If you're lucky. Plus, isn't that like super occult? I just don't understand. He's an idiot. That's all there is to understand. Uh, I'm almost afraid to read more of Hero's report card, but... I'm telling you, the skyfish is flying all over Kamada. I know it sounds like I talk about the occult a lot, but I really do hate it. Sure you do. You hate every aspect of it except the one that makes you money. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Ha, 
<laughs> Just to kind of speed things up for you guys and make it a bit easier on myself for editing purposes, I'm going to start cutting out the searching part of it because it really doesn't add anything to it since we're not trying to make the monokumas anymore. Once we get in to the next run through when we're trying to get people's endings and we have enough skill to actually build the monokumas with some consistency, then we'll start looking at that a little bit. But anyway, if it's something that you would rather see, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and start putting it back in. But until that point, well, well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmogony? How about you just get on with it? I learned all about heroes' theories on the origin of the universe. Well, Hero also likes Prince Shotoku's globe, so... Ugh, such mysterious power! This is a true blue op art! It is indeed. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Yo. An era of stupidity. I'm surprised how well you and me get along, Makoto. Seems like we hang out all the time these days. Yeah, don't read too much into it, okay? Is that a bad thing? Hmm. Oh, no, not at all. And since we're such good friends, can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. <laughs> Wait, I totally realized something just now. Completely out of nowhere. I feel like I'm about to see the performance of a lifetime. Well? Say, Makoto, have you been feeling down in the dumps? No energy, no spark? Huh? Y you think so? You know? Oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? Hmm. This. What is it? Isn't that your crystal ball? You know? A crystal ball. Okay, and? Hmm. Just hold on to it for a second. Here, here. Completely against my will, Hero shoved the crystal ball into my hands. Well? What do you think? Nice and cool to the touch. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of like all glass or metal. Uh, actually, yeah. Hmm. You can feel its power, can't you? Not so much. And do I feel it? How about that? It's the ancient power of our timeless Earth Mother. Or Mother Earth, as it actually says. For serious? You see, that crystal ball has quite the history. It was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a priceless, one-of-a-kind artifact. This precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. This very ball has known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, even Genghis Khan. I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard. Hmm... Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. Thank you. Just so you understand, presents don't require payment. In return, I'd like for you to come with me to a little seminar when we get out of here. No, no thank you. And don't worry, I'll see about getting a discount on your entry fee, because that's what friends do. Th that's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. How about that? Sorry, the crystal ball has already acknowledged you as its proper owner. Great, it was a gift, which means it doesn't require reciprocation. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It has given itself to you. Why does this sound so sexual, hero? So now you gotta keep your promise. You don't wanna know what that thing does to Oathbreakers. Except I never made a promise. You tried to make it for me. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, pal. Yeah. Refusing to take back the crystal ball, Hero hurried away. But I could hear him mumbling to himself and finally caught something about finally made my quota. Yeah. 
I really hope I heard him wrong. I really, really hope he's not an Amway. I'm so stoked Makoto said he'd go to the seminar in exchange for that totally legit crystal ball. That quota can suck it. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal prediction skill. Not that we'll ever actually know what that does, but... I decided to go back to my room for a while. Well, there is no way we are finishing Moe Moe Kuma. So, I guess we should prepare to be yelled at. And this is unacceptable! You better start taking this seriously! I know you can do better than this! Anyone could! Don't shake yourself silly there, Bear. You've got gears and stuff and you don't actually have a suitable replacement, so you should be careful. So the next concept is... Right here! Mono adult okay great we'll definitely not get right on that well we have enough to make exactly one cheat sheet so I suppose we should excellent and who do we give it to should we keep buffing up Makoto or should we spread it around Probably should get one of the other fours up to a five. So let's do that. Nice. And my goal is to have only one person in need of cleaning. So we'll be giving all of our cleaning maestros to Taka, I think. We may bo boost up one other person so that they can uh, do that when Taka needs to take a rest. Hmm. Hey, you want to go take a nap? A little midday shut-eye always makes me feel better. Yeah, I don't really want to take a nap together with you, Hero. Perhaps in separate rooms. I went and took a nap with Hero- No, God, Makoto. Why? <sighs> but at what cost? At what cost, Makoto? I've got a feeling that this is the last interaction with Hero, at least I hope it is. <laughs> this is getting serious, man. When are we going to get out of here? The world is so big, so freaking huge, and we've all been stuffed in this one tiny little corner. I guess even Hero is starting to get stressed out by all this. Uh, um... Uh, uh, can we talk? You know, man to man? I haven't told anyone else, but I need to get this off my chest. Huh? What is it? Hmm. There's a big reason why I'm so anxious to get out of here. A big reason? Uh, I'm super worried, man. I'm afraid someone's gonna bust into my house and steal my collection of occult objects what collection how about that i've been surfing black markets and black channels to build a huge collection of op arts and i think i explained what op arts were in the actual let's play of the game proper but if i didn't or if you didn't see that uh op art stands for out of place artifacts which are artifacts like, say we were to find a cellular phone in a place where it would be assumed by testing or carbon dating or whatever that it, it was there 3,000 years ago. That would be an out-of-place artifact. Huh? No reaction? Wait, don't tell me you don't know about op arts. Oh, maybe Hero's going to explain it. You know, op arts, out of place artifacts. Yeah, I, I mean, I know that one. Stuff they find in the ruins of ancient civilizations with no explanation on how it could have got there. The crystal skulls, the golden airplanes of Columbia, the Baghdad battery, 
just to name a few. Well, that explains why he likes some of the things that we've been giving him. What the heck? But our parts can be more than just artifacts. For example, I definitely classify the famous geoglyphs of South America as op arts. Famous South American geoglyphs? Uh, Aztec? Are you talking about those lines the Aztecs made? Could it be? Huh, the Aztecs definitely know their way around that stuff, but... How about nope, that? Nope, sorry, when it comes to op arts, the big Aztec contribution was the Crystal Skulls. Not according to most Indiana Jones fans. So what is the actual Nazca? The Aztecs are the only one of these that I'm actually familiar with, so it's it's just a guess at this point. Aha! That's it. Whoa! You got it, Ace. Why Ace? Yo. Plenty of museums and research centers claim to have all those different op arts, but you see. Well, here's the shocking truth for all of them. The real deal is at my house. So you've got a collection of fakes that you have either convinced yourself or convinced other people in some way profitable to you are real. Did I shock you? Did the truth slam into your soul like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs? But you have all that stuff at your house? Hmm. Yep, got it mostly through the internet. It's more valuable to me than anything. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you paid way too much for it. He's got to be the world's biggest sucker. Yeah. And he also takes advantage of other suckers. I've invested every penny I have into that collection, which is why I'm so worried. If that stuff gets stolen while I'm gone, it'd just be the most tragic tragedy. You know... You know what I've had to go through to get all that stuff? Why do you think I got held back like, you know, three or four years? Because you're an idiot? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Forget about that last part. Okay. Anyway, everything I've read is that when you really do serious research on those artifacts, most times they end up finding out that there's a perfectly normal explanation for them. Don't be stupid, you stupid Makoto. Right, that's rich coming from you. It's a government cover-up. They want to hide the ancient aliens and the secrets of the universe. I'm sure they do. So, so tell me again how much you hate the occult. How about this? this isn't the occult. It's about aliens and ancient civilizations living together. Yes, it's possible. It's also a cult. I don't think there's anything I could say to change his mind. I'm also beginning to become very scared that this is not the end of Hero's Route. And it's not. Oh, save us from Hero, please. Yes, indeed. Today is your weekly day off. Well, thank you. Now then. I'm certainly hoping that there is only one more section of Hero's Root, though there may be more than that. But however many more interactions are left with Hero, they will need to wait until the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like below. It really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Teveron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other. Thank you.